Hi, I'm Alex Grieve, aka IB Crazy with Video Aerial Systems, and today I'm going to bring you the Sky Hammer. The Sky Hammer is a 4.5 DBIC omnidirectional circularly polarized antenna with very, very high axial ratio. Well, what does that mean? That simply means it is higher gain, which means it can reach out about 60% further than just one antenna. And it also means you get a higher axial ratio, so better ability to reject reflections. Now, at first glance, this appears to be just two mad mushrooms stacked on top of each other to a T-junction. Now, you might notice that a few people have been selling this T-junction as cheap diversity, which is a blatant lie. The truth is, is you can bring two antennas to a T-junction, but you don't get diversity. You get changed performance. In this case, the two antennas stacked on top of each other increases the gain from just 1.5 dBi. Now it increases it to 4.5. So it reaches out further, but it squashes the beam down this way. So it's not a good altitude antenna, but it's a great distance omnidirectional antenna. There's one problem. We've brought two 50 ohm antennas into a connector and we need 50 ohms here. And to fix that problem, we've come up with a tuning stub right here that retunes the antenna into exact resonance for your system to give you tip-top performance. Now, what antenna should you be using when you're flying this on the ground station? I recommend the cloverleaf. However, you can also use the mad mushroom. The other nice thing about this is if you want less gain, so you can go a little bit higher, but not out as far, just simply unscrew the antenna, and there you go. You've got the mad mushroom. Screw it back on, and you have the, the sky hammer. If you're looking for long distances, but able to get coverage all around yourself, this might be the antenna for you. I recommend this antenna only for intermediate and experienced pilots only. It's not really a beginner's antenna. For a beginner, just stick with the mad mushroom alone, then add the stack later. When mounting this system, you want the antennas to be vertical, one on top of each other. Don't turn it to the side like this. It will not work very well. Best performance is achieved with the antenna upright, like that. Screw it into your ground station, and you're ready to go for long range, omnidirectional coverage. I'm Ivy Crazy, and keep your wings in the sky.